Yo, what's up, guys? It's Handy Design. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my final camera raw. Uh, this is a question I get asked a lot. You know, how can I make my picture even better after I'm basically through with it? So you can see this picture I made. This is the before, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the after. That's after camera raw right there. So you can see it just pops a lot more. Uh, it just looks a lot better. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I do this with camera raw and let's get into it first off you're gonna want to click okay so say these are all my layers I have down right this is my top layer my last most recent layer I created we're gonna click on this layer we're gonna use a scroller to go all the way down to our bottom layer shift and press it so we're gonna have all these selected right here then we're gonna press press control and J we're gonna duplicate those control and E and we're gonna merge those all together. Then we're gonna right click and convert to a smart object and then you'll be ready to uh, add your uh, camera raw. Okay, so actually getting into the camera raw, I'm just gonna double click here so we can just go in and see exactly what I did. A lot of my camera raws, I like to go over the same settings but do them differently each time. So I like to turn my contrast up always, but it just varies how much, right? Because obviously way too much. So we're just going to mess with that. I left it at 8 this time. With our highlights, you can see if I go up with the highlights, it sort of just makes it too bright and too white. You don't want that to stand out too much. So I actually dropped it down. The camera raw is basically preference, but I'm just showing you guys what I like to mess with. And there is a few tips in here that will definitely help you. My shadows, I brought them up because I thought it was a bit too dark in the darker areas. So we brought that up to plus 14. I like to go over my texture and my clarity. And when I do this, I actually zoom into the face to see how it's sort of affecting the face. And I like to I put them both at 21 for this picture. I turn my vibrance up to 7. You see that before and after of the basics. Next we're going to go down to detail and we're going to add some sharpening. So I usually like to go like 25 through 35 somewhere in there just to give it that you know sharp look. But um, next we're going to do is color mixer. This is uh, great so I like I love color mixer. You can um, sort of change up the colors however you would like right. If a yellow is way too bright of a yellow like you can see right here. I just thought this was like ugly. It's too much yellow. It looks like McDonald's or something. So we turned it to a little bit more orange. And uh, with these aquas, you can see we changed it from green to over there. The blues, we changed them. So I like doing that with my um, color mixer. Next, our color grading, arguably the most important. So in our shadows, we can see some, you can't really see some blue tones, but when you don't know what to do for color grading on the shadows, blue is always a good go-to because shadows are typically at night, I guess, some shade of blue. It just looks really good, so I'm trying to come up with the excuse, but the only excuse is it looks good. Uh, you can see I can go OD on it. We don't want to do that. We just sort of start right here. I'll show you guys what it looks like before I actually add any. So this is without the... Uh, color grading we're gonna go ahead and drag it to this blue and you can see that difference we can make it any of these colors and you can sort of just see how blue typically looks the best right you can have it at a cyan a dark blue it all depends on the colors of your picture we're gonna go reds because we have this red smoke back here which is the light source if my light source was you know pink we would go pink if it was green we would go green if it was yellow we would go yellow but it is red so we're gonna stick to red here just like that next thing we're gonna do is our effects uh, we're gonna go to grain and just throw a little bit on you don't want it to be too grainy like this but you kinda wanna have it to that uh, you kinda want it to have that um, movie poster feel I guess that little bit of grain and here we're just messing with the colors a little bit more. You can just play with these and see what it does. <coughs> yeah, guys, that's about it for my camera raw and what I like to do. You can see just just a huge difference right there. Like 
made the picture it's because whenever you put everything into these two sort of colors it makes it a lot easier to look at in my opinion but yeah guys I hope this helped y'all out uh, if y'all have any specific videos you want let me know in the comments uh, make sure y'all go follow my Instagram when I hit 2000 I'm be giving away uh, one of four PSDs for free you get to pick whichever one it could be this one if you want and uh, yeah guys I'll see y'all peace